It's Weekend Update with Colin Jost and Michael Che. Thank you very much. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to Weekend Update. I'm Michael Che. I'm Colin Jost. Well, guys, it's 2024, but is it? <laughs> I don't know about you, but when I think of the year 2020, I never think, we should run that one back. <laughs> and if you're feeling confused, you're not the only one. At a rally on Thursday, President Biden said he was mixed up when he claimed he had just taken a photo with a woman who wasn't even there. Then the next day, Donald Trump repeatedly confused Nikki Haley with Nancy Pelosi. <laughs> guys, I don't know if we should do this election. <laughs> It's honestly starting to feel like elder abuse. And I don't even blame them. I blame us for allowing it. It reminds me of those bum fight videos where they made two homeless guys fight for money. And now we look back on it and we're like, how did we as a society let that happen? So I think the best solution is we should just tell Trump and Biden that they both won and that we're very proud of them and that they can rest now. <laughs> in Monday's Iowa caucuses, Ron DeSantis beat out Nikki Haley for second place. Well, that ought to put a uh, whatever this is on his face. <laughs> South Carolina Senator Tim Scott, who looks like someone drew Ving Rhames with their eyes closed, <laughs> endorsed Donald Trump. But remember, most Trump supporters only count him as three-fifths of an endorsement. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> Donald Trump urged his supporters to brave the sub-zero temperatures in Iowa to vote for him, saying, even if you vote and then pass away, it's worth it. <laughs> Voting for Trump and then passing away is also what happened with COVID. <laughs> After Trump was photographed with some strange red marks on his hand, some dermatologists speculated it could be something called hand herpes. What the hell is hand herpes, said Tim Scott. John Kerry announced that he is stepping down as the U.S. climate envoy and is expected to focus on President Biden's re-election campaign. And it's not a great sign that Biden's campaign is a bigger emergency than climate change. <laughs> In an interview on Fox News, presidential candidate Nikki Haley said that America has, quote, never been a racist country. Because if Americans were so racist, why did they have sex with their slaves? <laughs> I'm gonna sleep like a baby tonight, I really am. <laughs> Donald Trump posted an image of Nikki Haley made up to look like Hillary Clinton. And honestly, I couldn't tell if it was bad Photoshop or a good picture of Mark Cuban in a wig. <laughs> Pope Francis called for a ban on surrogate motherhood, which he says violates the dignity of the woman and the child. Plus, the Catholic Church doesn't want extra kids around while they're trying to quit. 